five. And boom. <laughs> Hello. I'll be right back. I got to get stuff. No worries. Okay, I think that's yours as volume. All right, I think we're good. Now I gotta go find the video. Ta da! All right. Oh, my volume's on. Okay. Hey guys. There we go. Open. Right. Getting her set up. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Oh, my computer's being so slow. Hey, Teresa. What's that tie dye thing behind you? That is one of my dusters. Like a dress? That's like a long cardigan. It's a jacket. Is it for sale? Nope. <laughs> Girl, don't put something out for sale in the background like that. I'm like, that's cute. <laughs> There's I two like that. I just got these. They're from Torrid. <laughs> oh. Yeah. They're super soft, too. So they're like super soft and stretchy and comfy. Love them. I got them off Poshmark. Your Auntie Boo is here. Hi, Auntie Boo. I'm trying to get my stones organized, but it's a struggle. Hey, Maria. Hey, Patty. Awesome. Oh, hey, Patty. Um, I lost my other acorn. Oh, I found it. All right. All right. I'm just trying to organize my stones. I didn't do it earlier. But not your fault. That's, that's my fault. And also, I've got, like, baskets that are, like, half filled with stones just, like, scattered in my room. <laughs> I'm just troubled. <laughs> All right. Michelle. Hi, boo. Hey, Michelle. Okay. We're not going to be disheveled anymore. We're going to have a great time. I whoops, think. What's that thing? Oh. Um, I guess I can go first. Yeah. Ooh, I just threw that mouse across the room. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Is my mom here? My mom's not here. I found this for my mom. I'll give it to her for Christmas. And there are four magic towels, and it's one for each of the Hogwarts houses. <laughs> cool. She, hopefully she loves it. She kept trying, she kept trying to get it from me like when I picked it up and I kept telling her no. I don't know how big they're going to be. It's just like a little stocking stuffer. Okay. Hey, sweet sugar plum. Hello, my fairy. <laughs> um, if you guys missed the stone auction earlier, I will be sprinkling in a little bit of the stuff today. I don't know if I'll show everything because I do have other hard goods and stuff to show um, as well. But I will be sprinkling that in. So if you missed it, don't worry. I got some stuff left. Okay. I got some new spheres and that I'm excited to show. Lepidolite and green strawberry quartz. They're beautiful. <laughs> I bet they are. You find cute stuff. Okay. Um, up first, this guy is a six dollar star. It is a dog. She's a cute little ceramic dog. Little puppy. Look at those puppy guys. It's Aww. so cool. And here's the bottom. And it's pretty big. So it's, it's quite a big size. So cute. Look at that face. It's so cute. Bro, the way my cat climbs down looks like a, a spider. I don't know what's wrong with my animals. So I got that guy. And then I have a piece of plush.
and this guy is eight dollars it is a play-by-play -play, uh toys and novelties uh from san antonio texas texas and it is a uh, coke brand plush produced under authority of the coca-cola company owner of the trademarks coca-cola and coke the dynamic ribbon device and the design of the contour bottle so it's a coca-cola brand plush collection always coca-cola it is a elephant Okay, Barry. So it's a cute little elephant with a swimsuit. He's got his little Coke bottle. <laughs> That's adorable. It's a little Coca-Cola plush. So Coca-Cola brand, brand plush collection. And this is from 1993. And he's eight bucks. And he's clean ish. I shouldn't have said that. Let me look at him first. Hang on. <laughs> the front of him is clean. His head and his trunk looks good, but his swimsuit on the back is dirty. Besides that, he's clean. I'm like, I like glance at it. I'm like, yeah, that's clean. And then my eyes focus and it's like, mm, that's a stain. All right. So we had the Coca Cola plush for eight, this dog for six, and then, um, I have these light up stands. They're the big light up stands. These ones are fifteen dollars a piece. I have eight available, and they shine all different colors. You can put spheres on them, big chunks of selenite, the selenite towers, all different coasts, all different kinds of stuff like that. So these are fifteen. Hi Denise. Hello Boo. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope you that is all of them. All right, Teresa, would you like one or would you like more than one? I did, honey. That's exciting. He goes into his second stage of his, um, he applied for a job. And he's got to go into his, I think the second step is like a peer review or something. All right, here's Gina. Thank you, Teresa. I got you down for one. If anybody else wants one, just hit me up. Let me know. All right. I'll start off with this teapot. Looks like it might be ceramic. And it is a $3 start. It's like white and green speckles with purple flowers on the front. And it's in great condition. No markings on the bottom. Three dollars start. I'll help in the chat in just one second. I'm finishing getting set up for the for the sale. I thought I did this earlier, but <laughs> alas, I did not. All right, I'm gonna move on Whoa. to the second item. Christy must have went somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. She she popped in and said hi, and then she said she had to go do something real quick. All right, this is a set of angels, and it's buy it now for three dollars. They're these white angels, and they look like they're sitting the same exact way. There's the bottoms. And the pair are just three dollars, buy it now.
They even have little butts. <laughs> All right, thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Those are yours. Hi, Patty. All right. My third item is I think this is a German brand. It's called Huxian Ruther. Thank you, Patty. Candle with plates, and it's a buy it now. Five dollars. Candle has never been used. This is pretty blue and yellow teal design, and it comes with a coordinating square plate to put it on. Totally looks like Mediterranean vibes to me, even though it has like a German name. But there's a mark on the bottom of each. Hutch and Ruther. They make some nice stuff. I looked them up. So since 1814. So it's a little candle set. And it's the candle's unscented. No sense. So that's five if anyone's interested. And that was my three. Okay. So I've got to undo this guy real quick. This is a hanging planter. It is a $20 start. And you get the wood the wood part that hangs up and it's got the rope attached to it and then it comes with two um two planters oh that one's cracked i just noticed okay we'll do a 15 dollars start then i didn't realize that was correct all right so it's going to be a 15 dollars start and i had to be i don't want to break them <laughs> all right it's worth it just hang on <laughs> Okay. All right, so here it is. <laughs> the kitties. <laughs> They're hanging out on a swing together. How cute. So it's a little pair of kitty planters. Um, and this is pretty durable, so you'd probably be fine to hang it. You know, just be careful. So this is a $15 start. I'll show you the one that's cracked first. You could still plant something in this. Um, you just couldn't plant it very like uh, deep. It'd have to be like a very shallow plant. So this is the one that's cracked. And then there's this the cracks right here. And it comes down and then it comes down a little bit into the glaze as well. But down here is fine. So like you could potentially plant something in here. Like I said, it just have to be a very short plant. Otherwise you're gonna get water everywhere. Oh, and he's got another little crack right here. Poor guy. He's super cute, though. So there's that one. And then this one I don't believe has any cracks. I'm double checking right now, though. This one's good. This one has no cracks. So you could plant whatever you wanted in this one. You could always put a real plant in this one and a fake one in another one. <laughs> That'd be interesting. So it's a cute little pair of kitty planters on a swing that hangs up. It's my first item. Very cute. Okay, he's down. The next thing I have, uh, this is a 
handmade glass piece that was made in Colorado. This is a $10 star. And it's kind of like a folded napkin kind of looking thing. I think it's probably a candle holder, something like that. And the bottom is flat. Poppy chill. I don't know if my candle will fit there. My candle is too big. <laughs> so the glass piece is 10 bucks. And um, I got this little food dog. It's like a little, it's a little agate food dog pendant. And the little hole is right here. Is it a money dog? It's not a money frog. It, I think I still think it's a food dog, but it that does look like a coin that he's standing on, so it could be a money dog, which uh, or a money something, which just means it's good luck with like money and stuff. And this little guy is six. And that's my tree. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just awkward giggling. Oh, do you know? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool, Michelle. Love you. Safe travels. It's a pair of vintage Japan horse and buggies. And it's a starting bit of $2 for the pair. They're really cool. Um, one of them is missing a person on it, but it's got a horse connected to a buggy. They just marked Japan. And this guy here is sitting there. So that's one of them. You get both of them. Here's a second one. Again, the horse. And it looks like the person fell out of the carriage here. So he's only got the driver. Oh, and I actually glued this driver back on because he fell off. But I thought they were kind of neat. Oh, and this one's missing wheels. This one's missing the back wheels. But this one has them. So one's kind of busted and the other one looks pretty good. Oh, this horse is missing a leg. Yep, horse missing a leg, missing wheels on this one, missing passenger on this one. But they're kind of cool. Oh, thanks, Julie. I don't know if anyone collected these or something. All right, there's another interest. I'll just call it to whoops. Julie. Thank you, Julie. All right, next I'll show uh, the new Lepidolite spheres I got in. They're really beautiful. They're buy it now as they range. There's a $26 one, a $28 one, and two $32 ones. Thank you, Julie. 
I have four available. This is the first one, the only $26 one I have. This is the darkest out of all of them. And it's not showing very purple on camera, but it's like a dark purple. These are really nice quality ones. Sparkles all over. So that's the first one. That guy's 26. The $28 one, a little bigger, lighter. Has like some splotches of some black in there. Good amount of sparkle all throughout. Really pretty. So that's the $28 one. And then there's two $32 ones. This one is quite sparkly. It's a little lighter. Hey, Christy. This is the lighter and more sparkly of the $32 ones. And then here's the second $32 one. And again, these are like a nice rich purple color. Really nice quality look at a light. All right, so if anyone's interested in those, just let me know. Next, I'm gonna show the um, Green strawberry quartz just got in. They are, I have two of them. They're 28 and 38. Buy it now. There's the $28 one. And these have a sparkle in them as well. This is the 28 one. Super pretty. Mm. This guy's 38. Hey. Beautiful. So that's the big guy. And the $28 one's a little lighter in color. Right. If anyone wants those, just let me know. And then my last item, I'll just show these clear quartz towers. These guys are $12. There's three available. Clear quartz towers are $12. Buy it now. $12. Hi, Joyce. One, two, and number three, if interested. Number one, number two, number three. Nice and clear, clear quartz. That second one looks like it has something in the middle. Looks like what? It looks like there's something in the middle. Yes, yep. I think that's the one that gives off a rainbow. No, not, even. not that I can see. It's really cool, though. Yep. So those are 12. If anyone's interested, just let me know. That was my three. I'm trying to be so quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. This is a $15 start. And it is a beautiful Alice in Wonderland winter-themed teapot and cup set. <laughs> That's so cool.
Now on the bottom, it does say Alice in Wonderland Cafe by Paul. What's that say? Paul Cardin, designed in England. And then I'll show you how it separates. So here we have the teapot part. We've got Alice and the little bunny. And the, I think that's the Mad Hatter. I don't know what he's doing. Being a little weirdo. And then the teacup has the bunny and yeah, I think that's I think that's supposed to be the Mad Hatter. So it's got the bunny. And the Mad Hatter on it. No worries, we're all mad here, as they say. And then the handles have Alice's face on it. With just a little cute tea set. That would be very cute for a gift for someone that just loves Alice in Wonderland. All right, gently put that guy to the side. Now I'm gonna run through the turtles that I have left really quick. Sorry, Christy, I can't understand you because my phone's making you sound weird. So I'm not ignoring you, I just don't know what you're saying. <laughs> all right, all the, it'll end soon, hopefully. Um, All the stone turtles are $10 a piece. Number one is white howl, is, uh, oh my God, it's just howlite, good Lord. Number two is moss agate and it does have like, I don't know if they're just Vugs or if they're Druzies. But number two is Moss Agate. It's got a little holy butt. So that's number two. Number three is Kesara. Number four, uh, I think we've concluded is Denim Lapis, maybe. And I think I have a couple cats that are like that as well. So this is number four. Number five is Sodalite. And number six is a mystery. No, this one's not a mystery. She got the mystery one because he had toes. This is Kumbaba Jasper. It's like, it's a green and black. The cute turtles are back. And those are what I got left. Any interest in turts? I think it's funny calling turts. Who <laughs> turts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little turts. Okay. All right. Looks like we're passing the turts for now. This is a wooden jewelry box. Needs cleaned up a bit. Um. Uh, sanded down and then like restained and it would be beautiful. Like it's not in horrible condition. It's just not in great condition. You know, it's not mint. All right. This guy is. Uh, let's do. I'll do 20 because they're usually 20 when they're this about this size. So this is $20 start. It's a big wood jewelry box. This one doesn't have glass on the front. It actually has like a pillow. So you could also use this like as a pin cushion if you're like, you know, a craftsy person. And then you open it up inside and you've got little hooks. You know, like a pink felt, a place for rings. And then a drawer on the front. Okay, why don't we take the door completely out? There we go. It's got these little compartments. Now it's got some little 
cruddy stuff on the on the side and on the front of it. Like I said, it just needs a good wipe down. It's not there's no like gouges out of the wood or anything like that. I don't even see any like cuts or anything. Just needs wiped down. And it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful piece. Ooh. I keep trying to lose that drawer though. Hey. Gently putting them down. Hi, right, Denise, I see you. Anybody else interested? Or are we going to the the Denise Bobies? My brain's not working apparently. <laughs> I'm throwing turtles into glass. Oh my goodness. That was nuts. Alright, we're calling it. Let's go, Denise. Yeah, girly. Wood your box. I think I have another jewelry box, but it's smaller. Okay. Thank thank you. And here's the jeanster. <laughs> Hello again. I've got a very large ocean jasper egg. And it's a buy it now of 32. Hair is stuck to the sticker. It's a beautiful ocean jasper egg with greens, like a burgundy red, kind of reddish brown, and it has a big vug right there. And a little one right there. And some pockets right there. It is a beautiful color combination. Love Ocean Jasper. Sorry about my glare. That looks really cool. I love how it's kind of separated, but it's not. Yeah. It's not like yeah. <laughs> Line going all the way around it. And it's kind of like, a, it looks like there's some quartz in there as well. So there's a little bit of like transparency. Little mini circular quartz. Really cool. So that guy's 32. Big egg. And then next, I'm going to show some flames. These are OJ flames. One's 18, and the other's 22. They're by it now. So this is the $18 one. It almost kind of, no, this isn't the one. This has got like greens, like warm browns, almost orangey colored. It's really cool. We got little quartz pockets going on. So that guy is 18. And then the $22 one is OJ, but it kind of resembles Kumbaba Jasper a little bit with its coloring, but it's not. And this one also has some quartz pockets. There's a little quartz pocket there. A little mini, I wouldn't call it jersey, it's more like quartz. There's a little quartz pocket there. This guy's 22. Mostly green and off-white. Lots of quartz in there though. With little window pockets. It's really pretty. So this guy is 22. Hey, it's more different than just a plain tower, you know? That's oh yeah, cool. totally. They stand great and yep, they're really cool. So if anyone wants those, just let me know. And then my third item, um, I'll show my Shungite spheres. We have two that are 28 and a bigger one that's 40. These are the $28 ones, Shungite. Great protective material against EMF. Negative energies, it's awesome. I wear it every day around my neck 24-7. Shungite with a D or a D? Shungite. <laughs> and then I get a nice bigger one for 40. It's 
And that one has a little specks of pyrite in there. She was asking you if you spell it with with a with the S oh. with the G or a D. S H U N G I T E. Shungite. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Christy. Again, your volume is kind of low. Yeah, let's get some pyrite in there. Is, is that a little bit better? Um, hard to tell. Yeah, sorry. I was going to unmute again and be like, she asked if that was better. <laughs> <laughs> well, the smaller ones are 28 and the big one's 40. <laughs> Destiny, why are you crying? Stop it. We just went outside. I don't want to hear it. All right. Well, that was my three. Thank you. Okay. This is a $4 start. They are curtain hooks. And you get nine of them. They hook like that. So, unless it's like really thick. It's just super pretty. And, and you can get number 12 as a full set. Well, you better have a small window, honey. Because <laughs> there's nine of them. I thought they were shower curtain things. Uh, you, well, you don't have to use them for a shower curtain, though, is what I'm saying. That's why I just said like curtain hooks. Because oh. you could use them. Wherever you hang a curtain. Yeah, if you buy them for your shower curtain, you're going to be missing three, just FYI. <laughs> Alrighty. And then next, this is a $6 start. It is a thick plastic trinket jar. And it has um, butterflies engraved on the lid. But they are, in fact, engraved on this side. Or etched or whatever. Pretty. So it is plastic. But it's a nice, nice thick plastic. And sometimes it's nice to just have something that looks pretty in like glass, but that isn't. So you don't have to worry about glass shards everywhere, you know? Less likely to break and such. Big ish size. It's not huge, but it's not tiny. So this is $6. And then my third item is also a $6 start. And this is a piece of wood that has been um, burned. And it's like a cat wolf, bobcat bear. I don't know what the hell it is, but he's climbing up a tree. And uh, he's really cute. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> I get wolf vibes. Me, it looks like a raccoon. Kind of. But raccoons have dark eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe they were they did it creatively, and they were like, his eyes are gonna be white instead of black, so that he could have fur. Mm -hmm. But it's a big piece of wood, and it doesn't have like the artist's name on it, but it has like a little thing so you can hang it up. It's a nice piece of wood. Cute. <laughs> All right, that's my three. It's six bucks for the wood, six bucks for the butterfly jar, or four dollars for the curtain hooks. I blazed it over. Ooh. All right, I got this cute little turtle. He sits kind of weird on a surface, though. He's kind of weird, oddly made. And he's a $5 buy it now. I'll try to show you. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, yeah. it looks like he's stuck on a wall. <laughs> he's really cute, though. Look at his face. 
Aww. He's a little derpy looking. Oh, Patty! <laughs> Yeah, Patty gets hurt. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Thanks for giving him a home. <laughs> All right, next I'll show this. I'm not sure if this is a paperweight or not, but hey, a, has anyone seen Kara today? Kara, no, not yet. I didn't see her earlier either. Did Christy was she in Teresa's this morning? No, but I didn't see her. That's weird. I hope she's okay. All right, sorry. It's okay. So I I don't know what this is. It's not really heavy enough for paperweight, but kind of looks like one. It says Mary Kay Creations on the back. Obviously not Mary Kay makeup, but it's got this cute scene of a couple and a baby flying out of a, a horse pen. I don't even know, but it's a $5 start. It's really cool. And it's 3D inside. See how the, uh, the people are raised a little bit? It's like 3D. If anyone knows anything about it, please do tell. They're trying to catch the baby. <laughs> They're trying to catch it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah I, oh, wow. Yes, they are. Wow. I thought it was a table they were sitting at. Oh, casually while their baby's being flung in the air. Okay, thank you, Christy, for <laughs> clarifying that. Yes, I see it now. That or they're just, you know, what? Why is there a there? trampoline? I, I don't know. But I have questions. Why is there a horse? And why? Like, why? Maybe to make them seem a little bit more thick. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like even the horse is puzzled. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can use this as a coaster. Not really. Kind of small. Oh, that important coffee might fall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if anyone wants that guy, let me know. <clears throat> Maybe a horse through the baby, perhaps. All right, I'm gonna show the last two malachite, raw malachite chunks I have. One's 15 and one's 25. This is a $15 piece. Beautiful raw malachite. Hi, Babette. the $15 piece and here is the big chunk the $25 piece it looks like there's a paw print half of a paw print on the side there's a pad to the paw right, the, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right here <laughs> yeah it's like it broke in half and it's like you can have half the paw print all together <laughs> it's a nice big chunk <laughs> It's pretty thick too. Beautiful banding there on the side. It's the bottom. So that's the $25 piece and there's a $15 piece if anyone's interested. And then my third item. Uh, I'll show my big towers again. This guy's 50 smoky quartz for giant smoky quartz. That guy's 50. Clear quartz is 55. Beautiful, tall, clear quartz. And then the biggest guy of them all is 85. Beautiful gold sheen obsidian. Very sheeny on both sides. 
all the way from top to bottom. It is a stunner. This guy's 85. Look at that sheen, it's so pretty. And those are the three biggest towers I have. And that was my three. Bro, I'm trying to figure out what these symbols are on these coins. <laughs> these, like, little slices. Mm -hmm. No, I'm so confused. I was like, well, maybe they're runes. Nope, it's not that. Because my first thought was, like, the Zodiac, like, constellation. Like, your, like our star sign. It's, they're not that, because none of these align with any of those. I'll show them. Maybe you know what they are. And so then I was like, okay, well, I got to figure this out now. Now I'm so confused. It doesn't have to do with your chakra that I can find. They are not star constellations. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're like weird constellations. They don't go to your zodiac anyways. No. And I was like, maybe they're runes. Not nah, ain't that either, boo. Hmm. I was like, maybe they're for like the elements, like air, fire, water, and earth. Not that I can find. <laughs> so I don't know what they are. What else could they be? What's... What else is like a set of four? I would think the elements too. But... but there's no like... Like, it would, like, show up, though, if it was, like, a, something that was commonly used for the elements. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. Well, anyways, I'm about to sell these to you. Hopefully you like them. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Maybe you do. Hey, we don't know what they are, so it can mean whatever you want it to mean. How about that? So I don't think it's Celtic. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, don't know. At all. They do look like constellation symbols. I know, but they're not. Not that I could find. Maybe they're not for the zodiac. They could be different constellations. You're, you're right. You're right. All right. Well, these are. Uh, it's 20 bucks for a pack of four. Right? No. Yeah. We'll do 16. It's going to be $16. One six. 16 bucks for a pack of four because I don't know what they mean. So we'll just do 16 bucks. Uh, here's pack number one. They're all on uh, some like orange agate. So that's number choice number one. Choice number two. Got the darker blue agate. Number three. Some more orangey red, carnelian like. Number four. Uh, it's pretty yellow. It would, if this was golden healer, this would have to be like this would be super concentrated. So it's probably not that, but it could be. So that's number four. Number five is on rose quartz. Number six, got some more agony babies. Number seven is uh, red jasper. I really wish I knew what these were. <laughs> and number eight, some more agate. <laughs> if you send me a picture, I can uh, try to investigate further. Yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> Are you, right? I'm the same I'm, though. I'm looking them up now, but I need to like. I'll have to. I'll have to leave Streamyard to do it, but I can do that. Can you hold them up so I can take a picture? Oh, you okay? Hang on. Um, they might be the. I don't know what's the easiest to see them on. Hang on. I'm try to get rid of the glare. Um, right? Nope. Right. Eh. There's glare from the package. Right. 
<laughs> Hang on. Hang on. We got this. We're smart, okay? How's that? Much can better. You, yep. Can you see anything? Yep, just hold right there. And done. Okay. Thank you. All right, cool. My arm started shaking. I was nervous. <laughs> Okay. Well, they're completely out of order now, but that's all right. There's only one blue agate, so if you want that one, that one's easy. All right. Well, if she figures out what those are, um, I've got some other little discs with some cute things on them. These are uh, five dollars a piece. I've got number one is clear quartz with a skull on it. Number two is the same thing. Number three is some like smoky quartz kind of looking thing with the skull on it. Number four is the yin yang. And again, this might be golden healer. Number five is the same thing. Number six is yin yang on the agate. And number seven is the elephant on amethyst. Hey, Babette. I didn't see you come in. Hello, girl. What's up? All right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are $5. And then I've got, whoops. Man, these Skittles really be fighting me. I just want one. Ridiculous. All right. Hang on. My third item is $8. It's a wood jewelry box that says hers on it. It is a smaller box. And it's got green thought on the inside. They did not have his. They only had hers. <laughs> and that is my three. Gina, did you find it? No, not yet. I was downloading Google Lens, but it's like taking forever. Um, how much? How long do you think it'll take? I don't know. It's giving me like an error message. I'll try to download it again. Oh, okay. Because well, I was gonna say I've got a bunch of stuff I can show, so it doesn't matter. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have to re-download it. I um, cut my ankle. <laughs> Ow. You okay? Mm -mm. Yeah, I just hurt my ankle, so I have like a an ankle thing on, like an ankle brace on. Oh, got you, Denise. Thank you. All right, I got some Kambaba Jasper towers. They are sixteen and eighteen. Sixteen for the smaller, eighteen for the bigger. Buy it nows. Kambaba Jasper, sixteen and eighteen. This is the eighteen dollar one, and this is the sixteen dollar one. Dog, welcome back, Maria. All right, interested in those guys? Just let me know. Next, I have um, some terahertz spheres. This is uh, an expensive material right now, hence the prices. But this is um, also known as Silicon Valley terahertz. They um, they vibrate at a very high frequency. It's very healing. It's very protective against um, EMF, different frequencies like that. Very popular right now. And they're 22 and 24. That's not that bad. 
Yeah. It could be worse. Yes. <laughs> hey, Gina. Well, girl, why didn't you tell me in here? <laughs> hey, Gina. <laughs> Tara Hertz, aka Silicon Valley, 22 and 24. Oh, it's not a simple explanation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Next, I get some um, Amazonite spheres. They're 20, oh. 25 each. They're guardian angels. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> or you can call them the archangels. Well, that's cool. Beautiful. And they do they do go to the to the to the fuck. They do correspond with earth, air, fire, and what I water or whatever. Do they? Yeah. Okay. What archangels do they stand for? Uriel, Gab Gab Gabriel, Raphael, and Michael. That was hard. Kidding. Yeah, I'm writing down which symbols what now. Oh, I want a bag now. <laughs> Can you show them again after I want one? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I right, let me write this down. It's sixteen, right? So I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you, Gina. Mm -hmm. That's me going in for them. I didn't mean to put it on caps. <laughs> Beautiful Amazonite spears are 25 each. My third item is a buy it now. It's a septarian sphere for 25. Less expensive material. It's a good size sphere. Septarian. Miranda froze. <laughs> How much was it? I was looking them up on my phone too to find exactly what it was. The symbols? Yeah, I was trying to find other constellations and stuff like that. I couldn't find anything like that. How do you want the egg? You got it. Thank you. Are we frozen or am I back? <laughs> no, the video is off now. Are we? Hello? You're, you're back. You're back. You're back now. Thank you, Patty. Why can't I hear you? You can't hear us? Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> if anyone wants that guy, just let me know. Can I, hello? Yo, we hear you. Oh my god, I can hear you now, but you're really quiet. <laughs> I don't know what happens. What is going on? Okay, so I sent you guys the picture of um um in the group chat. And then I also drew them so that I could show everybody. <laughs> oh, very cool. Oh. Of course.
course, Patty. Yep. Thank you. Let's see, which one was your favorite since Supernatural? Mine was Gabriel. <laughs> I probably have, I have more air in my chart, so I would be more Raphael. <laughs> oh, I'm stretching. You've got more to show, don't you? No, that was my three. Uh, well, why don't you tell me? <laughs> She's short. All right. So here's what the symbols are and like what they mean or what element they stand for. There's more to it. And if you want the full like plurb of what Gina sent me, I can send that to whoever wants a set of four of them. Okay. I have no problem with that. So basically if you get these, and then you throw them in your pocket, you got all four guardian angel angels just chilling in your pocket. Hmm. I'm keeping the rose quartz one. Hate me if you want. Those are mine now. I don't ever keep anything rose quartz for me. I Can need that. Get one? <laughs> all right. So, there's $16. I'll let Gina pick first. Do you want a carnelian agate one, a bl the blue agate? The red jasper or the maybe golden healer? Can I see the blue one again? Oh. Can I just see them all again? Sure. <laughs> Those are the goldy ones. Okay. And then red jasper. Um, I'll take the blue agate. And then the regular. She said, I want to see them all again. And then she doesn't. She's like, no, I don't want this other shit. <laughs> You're a punk. Thank you. How many? You get, you, nice, you get a nice bag for them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got six sets left because I kept one and you got one. Thank you. Thank you. Would anybody else like some guardian angels? We could all use the guardian angel. I have a different set for me. <laughs> I don't know how to spell guardian. What is wrong with everything? I'm calling them slices. Because that is what they are to me. Slices. The little bag they come in is like thick too. It's like a thick plastic bag. And it's like resealable up here. It's a nice little plastic bag. Okay. I've got Gina's Guardian Angels. Would anybody else like some? Anybody else? Are we passing? Pass on those? Okay. I have. <sighs> a yawn. Hi, Lana. I'm glad I know what those are now, though, at least. So that way, when I show them again, I'm not hella confused. Yeah. Thank those you, <laughs> Hi, Lana. Do you think we ever would have, like, actually figured it out, though? Yeah, I think we would have. <laughs> I wouldn't have. <laughs> and I'm like, well, here you go. <laughs> All right, I've got wood sphere stands. Got little wood sphere holders. Small ones are five, big ones are eight. And I've got several. So if you would like one of these, please let me know. I also have all four sizes of the glass stands in stock. And um, from smallest to biggest, it goes $3, $5, $8, and $10. And if you want to see those, let me know. Those are the, like, thick glass cubes. So these are five and eight. The cute little wood-carved sphere stands. All righty. Um, 
<clears throat> I have this Coca-Cola plush. It is $8. It's from 1993. And it is a licensed Coca-Cola product. It is a uh, elephant in a bathing suit with his little bottle of Coke. And then he does have a little bit of stainage on the back of the suit back here. Besides that, he looks really good. And there's no holes anywhere. I think his bathing suit is funny. That was a pretty standard bathing suit, I guess. You can get a bathing suit in literally any kind of style now. It's very vintage. It's cute. Alrighty, I think that was my three. We're going to go back on over to Gina. If anybody wants anything I talked about, just let me know. Alright, I have this mug. It has like some baskets of flowers on it, and it's a dollar. Buy it now. Blue backgrounds. Look like some gardening supplies, some pots of flowers. And it says, produced for Design Pack Inc. Dishwasher and Microwave Safe, made in China. Oh, that's weird, Lana. I don't know. I know that when you are on your phone and you hold the button for like longer than you're supposed to, that can change the font size. Thank you, Auntie. The mug is yours. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> All right, my second item. These are going to be a dollar buy it now you get the pair with these adorable little miniature plates they kind of look like wedgewood design they're not marked just cute little plates dollar for the pair hey carolyn they like that light blue and white similar to wedgewood just the two little plates. They're cute. Hey, Elizabeth. All right, if anyone wants those little guys, let me know. And then my third item is going to be choice. And there are, there are these vintage serving plates with dividers. They're heavy. And they're going to be $7.00. Buy it now, your choice, $7. They're not marked, they're slightly different designs, but these are great for like appetizers. You get some weight to them. Just double checking there's no chips or anything, looks good. Seven dollars, and they're roughly ten inches. Yep, they're both about ten inches. One of them has an extra divider, and the other one. 
oh yeah, this this one here has an extra. Yep. Has like five, one, two, three, four, five, and then this one only has four. Big, big, and then two littles. Yeah, they're heavy. So these guys are seven if anyone's interested. And that was my three. It would be good for um, burgers and stuff, having pickles and lettuce. Yeah. And, you know, and all separated on that divided platter. So it'd be perfect for that. Yep. Figure some olives in there, olives, pickles. Or if you make some cream cheese in them. <laughs> if you can't stand your food to touch, there you go. Salt, frozen salt right there. Yeah. <laughs> or you don't like your food touching like Christy said. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Hello. <laughs> you said it was my turn, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, I got in the agate rings. For anybody who has not seen them yet. The biggest size I have is size 8. And I've got to size them real quick because I mixed them all together. These are... Eight. These are eight dollars a piece. <clears throat> size it them quickly. Sorry. No, all the greens are size seven and a half. Seven. And a half. seven. Close to seven and a half. What was it? Close to seven and a half. That's definitely six and a half. Six and a half. Six and three quarters? Sounds almost seven. Okay. I got them separated. I'm going to start with the size eights. There's only three of those left. Oh, my hip popped. And these are $8 a piece, and they are solid stone agate rings. This will be number one for the size eights. Oh, almost dropped it. Number two. And number three. Those are the size eights. Any interest in those? My hair looks crazy. I have a pimple patch over my pimple. Do you, have you guys ever used pimple patches? What? Have you ever used pimple patches? No. Me neither. They're weird. It makes me touch the pimple more. <laughs> like, what is that? Yeah, you can you guys can't really notice it, I guess, is all the way down. Alrighty, so those are the size eights. And then I've got a six and three quarters, so an almost seven. A size seven. And then I've got two six and a halves. This is a six and a half. Number one. And number two. And then there's a whole mess of like seven and a half. So let me know if you want to see size seven and a half. Otherwise, if there's no interest in them, I won't do it. Um, I will show this one because I think it's really pretty. This is a seven and a half, and it's like an olive green. Got some really pretty color to it. It's the only one like that. That bunch reminds me of Unipeg. What do you think Unikai looks like? Oh, now I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah. No, you were right. Yeah, the green in Unikai is like a little olivey. All right, I'll give it to you. 
I was very confused though. <laughs> you have this like, it up. It's a little all of you. Yeah, yeah. My brain would not make that comparison though. <laughs> I was like, really? This girl's crazy. No, no, no. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to show it because we're not into it. That's okay. We don't have to get into it. Let me put these away. And, um, oh, I got the clear moons in. I've got two left. Is there anyone that needs a clear moon? Oh, Fairy, if you're still here, did you still want a clear moon? Because I know you got like a yellowish one last time. So let me know if you would also like a clear moon. Because I did get some in. Let me move those rings out of the way. And then... If you're wondering what the clear moon is, it's this. This is the clear moon. Hey, Karen! It Karen. looks like a bouncy ball. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of the frosted bouncy ball. But yeah. <laughs> I love them. They're really cute. Okay. So, I have little mini hearts. And when I say mini, I mean like mini, honey. Some of them are actually uh, pre-drilled and ready for to be turned into a pendant. You could wire wrap them. They're little. Cute. <laughs> they're so, they're so cute. They're really, they really are adorable. Yeah. So there's 18 different kinds. They are $2 a piece. And I do... I do have one of every kind still. Um, I think I have two of every kind still. So I've got two of every kind still, plus this bag that has one of each in it. So there's 18 different ones. If you're interested, I can go through and uh, show and tell you all the different ones that are in here. There is. Hi, Kitty. Is that one road at night? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like a. Like the, pink, the pink and black one. They're $2 a piece. Can I grab that moss agate one I see in the corner? The one that's in this baggie? The one you... I don't know. You just showed it before that. I saw a moss okay. agate, I thought. No, yeah, yeah. There is moss agate, but there's, like, different ones. Like, do you want me to pick one, or do you want me to get all the moss agate, and then you pick them? Um, sure, how many are there? I don't mean to make you have my work. That's loud. Um, I found the fish. Can I put that? The moon Um, I don't think I'm going to be ordering anymore because I've ordered like hundreds of dollars of moons and I don't want to order any more moons. <laughs> so I'm going to make a conscious effort to like keep one back for you for next month. Okay. Okay. Let's focus. We got the, we're doing the moss agate. And yes, Patty, Patty wants to know if you have blue bones. Moss agate one? Yes, there is. Two. And then three, which is the one that you probably want, which is the one that was in the bag in the first place. Yep, that one, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that one is Gina, and I got the fairy side. Okay. <laughs> so we've got Moss Agate, Unikite, Rhodonite, Green Adventuring, Sodalite, Rose Quartz, Blue Goldstone, Opalite, Tiger's Eye, Mahogany Obsidian, Red Jasper, Regular goldstone, larva kite, lab, like a weird yellow quartz, Dalmatian clear quartz, and then like a bluish agate. All right. The Buddha's 12. The alligators. The alligators are 16. Yes, that's your fishy. I got you. Yeah, I wasn't here last night, so I'm just kind of like, huh? And then I do have, I do have a blue goldstone Buddha. He is twelve dollars. And then I have a regular goldstone Buddha as well. Yeah, 
and they are both 12. And that's all right, girl. And let me get a little, a little heart for you. Just a cute little heart. And um, I think these guys are like perfect for stone bowls because they fit in there so nicely. Let me show you. Check this out. Check this out. Look how cute these look in here. Tell me this is not the like cutest thing you've ever seen. They fit in there so nice. You see what I mean? Like they're smaller than tumbles, but they're bigger than chips. So I think they're, I just think they're perfect. Plus you can wire wrap them. You can turn them into pendants. Some of them are already pre-drilled, but those are like the agony ones are like pre-drilled. The other ones aren't. So pretty. Yeah. And this rose quartz bowl is 20, if anyone's interested. <laughs> okay, put that guy down. Oh, my hair looks disheveled. All right, Patty, would you like the Buddha and or a little heart? So the little hearts are just two bucks. They are mini hearts, like I said. Uh, I've never seen a heart smaller than this. I'm going to be honest. They're smaller than I thought they'd be. And then the Buddha is 12. This guy kind of looks like a sunset. I like him. He's cute. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Do you like the clear opalite or the cloudy? Because you know I always got one of each. I got all the options. Good lord. Ew. What was that? It's weird. Ooh, my back. So you just tell me cloudy or clear heart. And we're good. And does anybody else want any little hearts? Or Buddha? Buddha, bring good luck. Patty wanted a blue like, Sona, so like. Yeah, I got it. I'm waiting for her to tell me if she wants a cloudy heart or not. Or not a cloudy heart. Oh, okay. There, sorry. Yeah, right? If not, I'll just guess. <sighs> yeah, there's 18 different hearts. They're adorable. I love them. All right. I'll just guess if she doesn't tell me. Here's Gina. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've got these stone pendants. They're five dollars choice. Five dollars by it, no choice. There are two mukites, and the middle one is a conglomerate stone. Yeah, Elizabeth. There's two different kinds of opalite. There's one that's like it's it's more like it looks like more milky, more milky and cloudy, and then the other one is like it's more clear, like you can see through it. So I just call them clear and cloudy, but it's really, it's milky. Oh. Oh. Hey, cat. So I, I just flipped it. So I'm sorry, which one is number three? Um, I'm gonna renumber them. One, two, and three. One, two, three. The outside ones are mukite, and the center is a conglomerate stone. It's number one now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. You had me confused, too. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about numbering them. I just flipped them to show the backs. Like, la-dee-da. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> 
And we have a moo kite and a conglomerate left. If anyone wants one of those for $5, just let me know. <laughs> That's okay, welcome in. All right, my second item is this silver toned possible mug trivet. It's a dollar by it now. It's got three little feet. It's got roses on it with a ribbon or a bow. And it's a dollar by it now. Looks like it'd be big enough to hold a mug. All right, that's a dollar if anyone's interested. All right, I got more bigger mushrooms in. These guys are all $12. I have four available. Oh, Patty came in first for the trivets. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. All right, get these four mushies here. They're 12 each, and I'll show you them by one by one. Here's number one, it's a green fluorite. Number one is green fluorite. Number two is also green fluorite with a little bit of purple in there. Purple's like right here. Number three is, um, Rainbow fluorite. It's got purple and blue, teal blue, and like a, <clears throat> excuse me, a band of like quartz as well. That's number three. And then lastly, number four is more of a yellow fluorite with some purple in there, yellow and purple fluorite. That's number four. Again, number one, green fluorite mostly, that I can see. Number two is green with a little line of purple in there, fluorite. Number three is purple, mostly purple fluorite with some green at the top. And number four is yellow and purple fluorite. And yes, these are very phallic shaped. Especially that one. <laughs> So those are 12 if anyone's interested. Little mushies. I think that is for the top of a small potpourri jar. Oh, interesting. Even with the little legs on it. All right, little mushies for 12. And the third item. No, that was my third item. Yep, that was my three. I'm still embarrassed. Why? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> Why? Did I miss something? Yeah, you must have. It, it's okay. It had me a little bit confused too, but I had to figure out I was just confused and everybody <laughs> else knew what was going on. So it's okay. <laughs> no big. This is six bucks. It is um, plastic, not glass. Little lidded trinket jar. It's got butterflies on it. There is something in my eyeball. <clears throat> 
For 10 bucks, you can get this handmade in Colorado glass piece. It's probably a candle holder. I like how glass, different glass sounds different. And then you like grab it and you let go. Oh, are you sure, Patty? I feel like I talked you into it. <laughs> So this guy is done. <laughs> um, for $15, you can get this Alice in Wonderland tea set. You get the teacup and the pot, teapot, and the cup. And it is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Alice in Winterland. I can't read. So it's Alice in Winterland. Cafe by Paul Carden, designed in England. Thank you, Patty. Alice in Winterland. That's why I look so different. I. Yeah, it's like a kind of a Christmasy winter theme. Super cute. All right, that is my three. I'm working on what I want my daily goals to be, and then my weekly goals because I have to get organized and structured. Very cool, Miranda. I don't want to be structured. <laughs> no, I want to be structured. <laughs> <sighs> I've got this um, wrist wrap, it's called. It's new on card. It retailed for $10. It's by the brand Chaco, and it's a dollar buy it now. Looks like a surfer, surfer type brand. Remember when I was showing you the tacos? It's that. That's familiar now. Is it? Is yeah. it like the surfer brands? Kind of, yeah, peachy, yeah. Well, this is a dollar if anyone's interested. It's like a wrap bracelet, and yeah, it's it's like one long one long material that just wraps around your wrist with a buckle. An adjustable buckle. It looks like something I'd see sold at like Pack Sun or something. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna did cool you design. say? Pack oh, Sun. You, did, you did say that. <laughs> okay. Chaco. It's when you guys thought I was saying tacos. I'm like, no tacos. <laughs> yes, I remember now. What was it though? It was Choco Sandal. Usually that's what I see. What is it? Choco. You, you were talking about something by this brand? Choco yes, so. Sandals. Yes, Sandals, so. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I'm sorry, I, Christy. I can't, I can't understand who that was. I got you, Christy. Don't worry. I'm, I'm a good interpreter. All right. <laughs> Looks like Miranda nabbed it. <laughs> Thank you. So that makes me think of like um, Tiva. Like similar to that. Like Tivas. All right. I, I have no this, idea. Like hiking sandals. All right, I get this beautiful amethyst cluster. It's $22, buy it now. It's like a tall cluster chunk. It's really cool, it's kind of unique. Sitting on the matrix rock. It still has like fresh dirt on it, like it was just freshly pulled from the ground. It's uh, 22, buy it now. And this is nice and purple right here.
It's a really cool cluster. Bro, everything was so quiet. I thought everybody left. <laughs> it did get quiet. It was like dead ass silence. I was like, oh my god, what happened? Streamyard kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Gina just shows and she just gets in the mood and then everything is like <laughs> the crickets, they're just coming after us. <laughs> Putting them to sleep. <laughs> Alright, that was my second item. <laughs> Third item. Um <clears throat> I still got pyrite chunks. They're 25 and 30. Raw pyrite. This one has like a hole right there on the side of it. It's really cool. It's a $25 piece and the bigger piece is 30. It is heavy. It is pyrite. Pyrite is very dense. Very sparkly. I love pyrite. <laughs> one of my favorites. So sparkly. This is a thirty dollar piece. So, if anyone wants some pyrite, just let me know. And that was my three. The laundry list of things I want to do every day is going to make me overwhelmed. Well, don't make it too long. I want to post on Instagram, and I want to list five items, and I want to cook at least two of my meals, and then I got to take 15 minutes to meditate on my new uh, yoga mat, and then I got to stretch and then work out for 30 minutes. And also, I need an hour and a half a day. That's non-negotiable. It has to happen. And then... I have to take 30 minutes to invoice or catch up on invoice. And then I got to wrap packages for an hour and then ship for an hour, just in case, you know, because I feel like I'm always behind on something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what else yet. I'm figuring it out. Oh, I want to wake up by 10 a.m. That's probably a good goal. I don't know what else I want to do. I don't know, man. I don't know what else I want to do in the day. What else do I got to do? I'm sure something. Shopping! <laughs> Best yeah, part of the job. Hands down. Sourcing in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how I can utilize my time the best and utilize um, sourcing online more again. Because I used to source online a lot. And I don't source online as much, or if at all now. All right. Apart from my stones. Nice. This is a dog. It's a little puppy. It's six bucks. Got a little six dollar doggy do here. Super cute. It jingles because it has a bell. I aggressively just shook that bell. It's fine. Y'all don't care. Y'all about to make me lose my mind. Up in me. Up in me. What do you mean Miranda never sleeps? I sleep too much. I go to bed and then I wake up 14 hours later like, what happened? <laughs> No, I usually, I honestly, I sleep like a solid 12 hours, like a lot. I don't know how to function now without 12 hours of sleep. And I make fun of Gina. She only needs eight. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, I just conk out for 12 hours. That's fine. Oh, I've got a set of nine of these, which is not a full set. Full set's 12. 
I only have nine curtain hooks. These are four bucks for this for the partial set. <sighs> I used to never sleep. I used to stay up for two days in a row. And I can still, like, I can get, like, four to six, four to six hours of sleep and be okay. But when I sleep and, like, let myself sleep, I'm out for 12 hours. Hands down, straight up. Throw me out the window. <clears throat> yeah, that, the, yeah, that, yeah, that sound just made total sense. It's fine. I'm trying to think of what else to show. Um, I did get some pendulums in. I only have three left. Well, I sleep off and on. It's not like a solid, you know. And I don't even think I get 12 hours of sleep. I'm just in bed for 12 hours. Because, you know, you, you go in and you lay down and then you're on your phone for an hour or two hours. And then you're in your head for a couple more hours after that. And then you finally fall asleep and then your husband's alarms go off and they wake you up. And then you're irritated at him and so you push him out of the bed so he leaves and goes to work so you can actually get some sleep. And then you fall asleep again. But then, like, the sun's up and the birds are chirping and then the sunlight's bugging you. And then it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, I gotta get out of bed. <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> All right. These are $10 each. $10. And I've got three left. And these are pendulums. And they do have the chain that comes with it so you can hook them. I've got black obsidian. I do need to drink more water. I need to write. That's a that's a good one, Michelle. How many cups of water are you supposed to have a day? I'm going to start with three. Three cups of water. Because, like, that's, like, that's easy to do. Because if you think about, I, I think you're supposed to have more than three cups of water, aren't you? Yeah. So, like, six cups. Nine, twelve glasses of water, some crazy shit. Um... But start with, like, I can start with three, because I don't drink any right now. And just have, like, a glass of water with, like, each meal, because I'm usually pretty thirsty. Eight? You're supposed to have eight glasses of water a day? Y'all, uh-uh. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> How do you have time to drink eight glasses of water in the day? Eight, eight, eight ounces. They're eight ounce glasses, though. Big Kara. Eight ounces is eight, really much. Eight, eight ounces. Well, how many? The pendulums are ten dollars. You know, like a bottle of water you get from the store, like bottled water. Those are usually sixteen point nine, or some are twenty. So, so like, you know, one of those. That yeah. still feels like a lot of water. Like, you'd have to... How would you drink anything besides water? I still at my bed and then I go um, one thing of flavor water a day. So just drink it. I don't think I've ever had eight glasses of water. Very good, Kara. <laughs> Kara, you're okay! I was worried. It's good to see you. The more you drink, the more water you crave. Oh, I don't understand that either. My dietitian always says I can tell when you drink more water because you actually lose a little bit. And I'm like, oh, okay. Bruh. I mean, I like water, but I don't have like, like, I hate drinking tap water. <laughs> Because, like, our tap water is disgusting, and I don't have, like, a filter or anything. And anytime I buy bottled water, Andy leaves it out in the car, and then, like, the heat will get to it, or it'll freeze, and then, like, the plastic releases in the bottle, and I'm like, well, I can't drink it now! <laughs> put, uh, put a filter on the faucet. <sighs> Bro, we... I don't even, like, honestly, I don't think, I I don't even, I wouldn't be comfortable even doing that because our water is so hard. Like, we like the hardest damn water. Like, you turn on, especially, like, in the bathroom, if we turn on, like, the bathroom faucet, that shit's, like, a rainbow of colors, and then eventually it's clear, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I can shower now. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot about lemon and water, but you have to be careful with that because it can dehydrate you. I used to drink lemon water all the time. 
like a shit ton and that's that it was not good for me cucumbers okay. are good too like cucumber slices and water black obsidian we got so off topic i'm so sorry rose quartz it's nice just to talk though and then i've got green adventuring <laughs> So those are the three stones I have for the damn pendulum. Would anybody like a pendulum? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. It still makes me nervous. Just like, if you saw the shit that came out of my sink and stuff, you wouldn't... I don't think you'd be okay with it either. So I just need to get, like, bottles of water. Okay. Was that my three? You know, I think it was. And also, I talked for 30 minutes. So, Gina, it's definitely your turn now. What else do people do every day? Maida, you look thirsty. Bro, I am thirsty. I live off of coffee and sometimes naked juice. I got some pink tourmaline towers. They are 10, 12, and 14. Buy it now. One of each. Here's the ten dollar one. Yeah, we just uh, invested in a Berkey, and we love it. We did a lot of research. We got the fluoride filters. Here's a twelve dollar one. I'm drinking fifteen ounces of pure joy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the $14 one. Taller and thinner. Too much of anything is bad. Um, and actually, regu like, regular black coffee is actually very good and beneficial for you. It's not good when you add all the sugar and the creamer and all that shit. And I don't like my coffee any other way. I can drink black coffee, but I prefer to have all the stuff added to it. Just like a glass of wine a day can be good for you. But like, six bottles of wine every day. Not so much. <laughs> they also make shower head filters. Yep, very cool. If anyone wants a pink tourmaline tower, just let me know. I love her. And Kara, I was worried about you. I'm glad to see you. What's other stuff I have to do every day? Got Amazonite Towers. I have one $12 one. Oh, Kat. Kat, you want the $12 one. Thank you. Are you sure you can count water from tea? I feel like that's a sneaky cheaty. I love tea, though. <laughs> that's probably why I'm not dead, because I drink tea. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. <laughs> and like like water like fruit and stuff like i love watermelon which <laughs> is the best <laughs> i have amazonite towers one twelve dollar one and then three fourteen dollar ones this is the one twelve dollar one and then here are the fourteen dollar ones thank you carol or Kara, cat, sorry. <laughs> the case. This one's a nice, rich teal color. So, this is number one of the $14 ones. This is number two. Should you stretch before or after breakfast? <laughs> number three. That's a legitimate question. When do I stretch? <laughs> Just, I need to be more flexible. I So I used to be not, like, super flexible, but I've always been fat. Okay, I've always been fat. I was thinner, but I've always been fat. And I could almost do the splits. And, like, as, as a bigger girl, I was so proud of, like, how, like, flexible I was. And so I want to be flexible again. And to do that, you have to stretch every single day. And, like, for a while, like. You know, it's a thing, but I can do it because I've done it before. But I don't know when to stretch.
Yeah. I don't know. Like, do, should I really make myself, like, starving before I eat? Or do you think, like, I could use my avocado toast to fuel my stretching? <laughs> she does yoga stretches and meditates before breakfast. I don't like yoga stretches. They hurt my body. I like the regular stretches you do in, like, pre-K. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. I got you down for that darker one. Thank you. Sorry, these were 12. No, they were 12, not 14. They're 12. They're like, they're like, touch your toes. <laughs> if anyone wants the $10 one or either of the $12 ones, just let me know. <laughs> I think that was my three. No, 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 no. You go again. Are you sure? I like ice. Yeah, I mean, I pretty much showed everything I was going to show tonight, so I'm just re-showing stuff at this point. Oh, no, really? Okay. I have, like, 12 Lepidolite towers in front of me. If anyone wants to see Lepidolite, please let me know, or I won't show them. Because I have 12 of them. Um, I'll re-show. I have these gorgeous Lepidolite um, spheres. These are the two smaller ones. They're 26 and 28. Lipidolite. Nice darker purple color. And then I got two $32 ones. You do? I guess, I guess I could let my avocado become room temperature because I keep them in the fridge while I'm stretching. And then it'd be easier to make avocado toast afterwards. That makes sense. Okay. And those are the two thirty-two dollar ones. Just in, they're gorgeous, nice and sparkly. All right. Do you want me to stop now? Your turn. No. Okay. All right. They want to see some little of light towers, so I'll show them. Um. All right. Most of them are going to be like twelve dollars. I do have some smaller ones, but I'll show you some of the $12 ones. One, two in the middle, three right here. $12. Maybe I could have like two glasses of water right when I wake up. You know, oh, really? I love avocado toast too. It's like one of the best Bro, things ever. I fucking hated avocados. You know what makes me like avocados? A lemon juice. You know how much lemon juice I add to my avocado? Too much. <laughs> <laughs> but but avocados are like good for your body and it's like a healthy fat. And they do it does give me energy. Like like a lot. Like it if I eat an avocado in the morning. It's, it makes my body feel good for the most part. It helps me regulate my poops. And it gives me energy to do stuff without feeling lethargic. Because, like, usually I eat and I'm like, well, I got to go to sleep for two hours. But when <laughs> I eat an avocado, I can still do things, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've never had them, like, with lemon juice or, or lime juice, um, try it. I can't eat a raw avocado. I would probably vomit. Um, Kat, this one is the darkest and has some sparkle. This is probably one of my favorites. It does have that, like, internal cracking going on there in the back, though, just FYI. This one is one of my favorites. I like the darker ones. That was number three. Number two is also very pretty. It's lighter. And number one, a little closer. Very pretty as well. This one's more skinnier. <laughs> but oh gag number three is dark sparkly number three awesome thank you Back, Thank you, Kat. You're okay. <laughs> um, here are three more twelve dollar ones. 
One, two in the middle, three on the end. Here's number one, both are up. These are really similar to me as far as how they look. Here's number two. The sparkle in there in the darker areas. I notice the darker ones seem to have more sparkle with the darker areas. That one's really pretty. And then number three. Yeah, my camera doesn't do some of these stones just justice. I apologize. But one, two, and three, if anyone's interested. And then I got some bigger ones. Those were 12. Okay, this one is 15. Chunkier. And this guy is 16. Fifteen and sixteen. And then I just got two little guys for eight. If anyone is interested, there's a dark one and a light one. These are $8. This one has like some peach color inclusion in there. It's kind of different. I'm not sure what material that is inside of there. It is a lighter lipidolite and this one is darker. And these are $8. Uh, Kat C says, can I trade mine for the 16? Of course. The big guy. Thank you, Kat. I love it. Thank you, Kat. All right, these little $8 guys, if anyone's interested. No problem, thank you. All right, well, that was most of the little pit of light towers. Randa, you want to go? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got I got this new uh Kesara dinosaur in today. He's twenty-eight dollars. Kind of a larger than usual animal carving. Good price for him. Kesara. Dinosaur. How much was that one? 28 buy it now. See how big he is? He's a good price. This, this is him compared to the uh, the waving cat for 25 obsidian cat. Hi, Anna. It's like the lucky cat. It's a big dino. It's cute. To me, it looks like um, one of the first like alligators cut out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got. I think he's got two like hunched of a back though. To be considered that. I think he, I'm pretty sure he's a dinosaur. Are supposed to be a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, Anna. Hmm. All right, well, he's 28. 
I still have these little um, pink paneling trunks. These guys are eight dollars. Eight dollars for a little trunk. Raw pink tourmaline. How much were they? Eight dollars. Choice. Awesome, Kara. Hope you loved everything. I have one anatomical heart left. This guy's 25. Red Bay and Jasper. Very good, Kara. Um, in case you missed it earlier, I got some green strawberry quartz spheres in. They are gorgeous. They're 28 and 38. Green strawberry quartz. I have a little, like a subtle flash throughout them. So pretty. 28 and 38. Okay, Christy. It's the $28 one. And the $38 one. Yes, cat, cat, um, Patty napped the uh, OJ egg. It's, it's gorgeous. I can show it. Patty already grabbed it. It's so pretty. Oh, I got a new sphere. This is a garnet and a strophilite together for $28. Yes, it is. It's so pretty. This is garnet and astrophilite, which is also known as fireworks jasper. So it's got those areas of flash, like right in here, between the garnet. This guy's 28. And my glare is making it hard to show it. Okay. All good? I think I got all my thoughts out. Well, once I started going, it was I didn't want to stop and then forget something, so... I've got my everyday goals, my rough, like, morning-afternoon routine, what I want my weekly goals to be, and then my auction schedule. Nice. So. Will you get more of these eggs, please? I could try, Cat. Sure. See the uh, flash there from the astrophilite right there? Really cool. It says garnet and astrophilite together. That was so much writing. I'm exhausted now. Are you going to show more? Uh huh. Cool. I guess. Well, I've got sets. They're four flat round stones. And they've got four symbols on them. And those symbols are for the four archangels, or you can call them guardian angels. And that is Uriel, Raphael, Gab Gab Gabriel, and Michael. And they are earth, air, water, and fire. And there is more to it as well. It is $16 for a set of all four of them. I've got maybe Golden Healer. 
Chopra Jasper. And um, Agate. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to number the Agate ones. So this is number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. And if you get one of these, I will send you um, an emailed copy of the photo that explains like exactly which symbol is for which angel and uh, what they protect, what they protect and do and what their elements are as well. Okay. Next, I've got wood spheres holders, wood sphere holders. The small ones are five, the big ones are eight. Number three, this one. That one, Kat? I don't know if she's talking to me. But if she was, that was it. You want it? You got it. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then we've got the wood. And he's got a nice little image burned onto him. This guy is six bucks. Real wood that you hang on the wall. Um, I'm gonna show the alligators real quick. They're so cute. I got you, cat. Thank you. Sometimes my brain thinks I said something, but I might not have. Okay. So these are all sixteen dollars. Number one is Tiger's Eye. These are alligators. Number two is Tiger's Eye. Whoop! Almost dropped it. Well, I mean, I did drop it, but it wasn't like super long. That's number two. Number three and number four are both rose quartz. So number three. Those are so cute. And number four. I know I love them. <laughs> I've never seen alligators. I know everyone loves, loves animals, so I'm trying to get, like, new animals. <laughs> and then number five and six are both Dalmatian. Number five. Dalmatian Jasper. And number six. And this one is, like, the thickest. He's the fattest. Those are 16, so if anybody wants one of those, let me know. I was just thinking of sharks, too, because one resembled a shark for a second. I was like, wait, is that a shark? They should totally make sharks. That'd be so cute. <laughs> the dark tiger's eye, that one's my favorite, because he's just so dark, but they're both really pretty. You're all right, Christy. Um, um, I don't know if anybody, someone's got to like alligators. I just don't know who it is. All right. I do have little mini hearts for $2 a piece, mini hearts for $2 a piece. There are 18 different materials. If you're interested or want to know what the materials are, let me know. Um, I've got cats for $10. If you want to see the carved cats I have for 10 bucks, let me know. And I also have some turtles for 10. And then I have light stands. These are 15. They are big wood light stands. They are 15. 
and they do they show different colors. All right, for fifteen bucks, I've got this. Uh, it's a pottery potted plants thing. So it's like a it's a hanging ooh, it's a hanging wooden bench with two cat planters on it. One of the cat planters is cracked in two different uh, parts, though. Tunnel. Fork. <laughs> Oh, she did say that not all those hearts are drilled, only like the agate ones were. Just FYI, the two dollar hearts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Ooh. So this guy is 15. I'm trying to get it back up here. Um, it is a wood swing with two cat planters on it. One of the cat planters is cracked, and that is this one over here, which is the cuter of the cat planters. But they are glazed pottery. It does hang. They are super cute, so that's 15. Um, I'm just kind of running through what I got. This is six bucks. It's a uh, plastic... Trinket dish. It's got butterflies on it. That's six. For 15, you can get Alice in Winterland. Designed in England. Teapot and cup set. Uh, I got showed everything. I've got the Coca Cola brand plush. He's $8. Elephant. With the Coca Cola bottle. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> He's just adorable. I can't help it. Uh, I just showed that, just showed that, recently showed that. Um, yeah, I guess some elephants. Oh, hang on, let me turn my body. Oh, that's a frog. Oh, I got some ducks too. Got these howling wolves. Right now, I've got four elephants left, it looks like. Uh, these are $10 as well. I've got two different clear quartz ones. We'll say one, two. So one, two. Number three. And number four. So those are the elephants I got. My hair is super annoying. I keep trying to keep it out of my way, but then my hair looks ugly and I'm like, bro, I don't know what to do. You know what number four? I got you. And number one. Ow, my elbow. I got you twice. My shirt's twisted. Twisted. Oh, I haven't shown the horse pendants yet. Alright, I'll let Gina go and then I'll show those. Alright, thank you, Kat. Was one the clearest of them? Um, They're both pretty cloudy. Uh, number two is trunk is clear. So number two has... A pretty clear trunk but besides that their bodies are pretty thick so if you want two instead of one just let me know that was two and then this is one hopefully you can tell what i mean oh skittle hi katie 
I'm going to say hi. Hi. My cat gave me kisses on the forehead yesterday, and I freaked out. Two instead of one? You got it. All right. Gina, you ready? Yep. There you go. All right. Well, speaking of OJ, in case anyone missed these flames, this these are both OJ. I know they're hard to see the detail on my camera. I'm sorry. This guy's 18. And the bigger one is 22. These are OJ flames. That guy's 22. So if anyone's interested in those, just let me know. And I forgot I have, I don't know if there's any interest in this, but this is an Enhydro Quartz. It has water trapped inside. It's uh, beneath where the, the black circle is. This guy is $18. The water is very hard to find, I'll be honest with you. And it looks like a tiny little bubble. But I did find it. And then I also found another tiny bubble actually kind of like above the black line. It's, it's going to be nearly impossible to show it on camera. But this is, it, this is an anhydro quartz with water inside. And the water inside that gets trapped is like millions of years old. It's really cool. Again, it's just a little bubble. That's really, that's like really, really affordable for an anhydro. Yeah, and the reason I'm selling so cheap is because it's really hard to find and it's really small. I think she's crazy. So yeah, that guy there. <laughs> and then OJ, I do have OJ palm stones. They're six dollars. These ones are six. I have some two bigger ones too. But if you want one, just put the number you'd like. They're six dollars. Buy it now. Number one is pink, pink and yellow. They're the prettiest of them all. These are six dollars. That's a pink and yellow one. Number two is a spotty guy. Cat D, you nabbed number one. Thank you. Number two is a spotty guy. Number three is pretty cool. It's got those circles there. Rusty red, green, yellow. All right. Thank you, Kat. You got one and three. And then number four is like a dark olivey gray color. Lots of spotting. This is number four. So two and four are still available. And they're six dollars. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Kat. Those are yours. And then the bigger ones are 10, 10, and 12. This guy's 10 right here. If you're interested, just put 10. More earth tones. These areas you can kind of like see inside a little bit, like beneath the surface, right around there. And then the $12 one, just put 12. <clears throat> Warm earthy tones and some window quartz right there. Window quartz. So I got those two guys with the OJ as well. Bigger palms. And then these are all $12 OJ towers. They're all $12. Number one looks like this. It's got a little jersey in there. So the jersey right there, this number one. 
It's like a rusty red, yellows, and like gray, white. Number two is like a rusty red and yellow. That's number two. Number three. It's like an olivey kind of gray with warm beige and tan. I see some sparkles going on. And then number four is a spotty guy. Warm tones, earth tones. That's number four. And those are all $12. And that, I believe, is the last of the uh, Ocean Jasper that I have. So if you're interested, just let me know. And that was my three, Miranda. Do you have your schedule for uh, for this next month? I'm not sure. I'm sure he has it. I just got to ask. I got to get it. And I'm going to be going to Boston um, probably around the second week of July. And I haven't figured out what day I'm leaving yet. So I'm going to figure that out, too. Okay. Hang on. That's like all revolving around my tooth. <laughs> and then and uh, hoping there's like a no issue heal when I get it extracted. <laughs> how how is your mouth? It still hurts. I go for my consult tomorrow morning. Consult. <laughs> Not even to get it pulled yet. So that's fun. Is it like a wisdom tooth or something? Yeah, it's a wisdom tooth. Of course, Patty. This is the garnet and astrophilite. This is 28. Those reddish spots are all garnet. And then it's with um, fireworks jasper, which is astrophilite. So you get the flashy bits. Aw, oh, thanks, Teresa. It's okay. And there's some quartz mixed in there as well. It's really pretty. All right. Thank you, Patty. And yours. I just put a question mark. Yeah. Patty? What? I just put a question mark. Oh, oh, it's okay. You can just call it Fireworks Jasper for short if you want. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. <clears throat> oh, I did have a little, another spotty littler palm for five. This guy was five. If anyone's interested, I didn't show him. He's five, and then also is this Kumbaba Jasper little palm. Those guys are five. So if you want those, just put OJ or Kumbaba. They're five bucks. Which one is prettier, garnet or lapidolite? Oh, geez. That's personal preference, Patty. <laughs> if, you're a if you're a purple person, you might like lapidolite better. I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Which one would you like, the OJ or the Kumbaba? This is the Kumbaba. Kumbaba Jasper or Orange or Ocean Jasper. Kumbaba? You got it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I've got really pretty palm stones coming. I keep forgetting about that order. I love palm stones. Oh, my hair's fucked up. Thank you, Patty. Okay. Um, I'm going to show these horse pendants real quick, and I think that's going to be the last thing that I show tonight. Um, just because I'm tired. <laughs> okay. But also, uh, I've got some orders that I have to go out tomorrow and things like that. So okay. I want to make sure I'm not running myself too thin. And we came on pretty early. Like, we've been on for two and a half hours right now. So we're doing pretty good. Okay. 
Stop. All right. What? I said I am shocked. Oh well, Gina can stay on as long as she wants. So. No, it's okay. I gotta um, I gotta try to get to bed early tonight. I have an ungodly appointment in the morning. I'm probably early. <laughs> well, the, the plan was to be off by 11, and that's like in an hour and a half. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, these are $10. They are stone horse head pendants, and they do come with a chain. I do not know how long the chain is. Number one is rose quartz. Number two is rose quartz. These would be a good gift. And I can take them out of this plastic, but it's like if you're going to give them as a gift, it's like easier to keep them in the plastic. Um, but if you want me to take them out, I can. That's number two. Number three is opalite. Number four is green adventurine. Number five is Green Adventuring. I thought I had gotten gotten more turtles, but I didn't get any more turtle pendants. Number five. Number six is Larvakite. And he's got some really nice flashy pieces on there. He's super cute. Oh, look at that piece. Wow. He's beautiful. Number seven is Tiger's Eye. And number eight is also Tiger's Eye. And um, I requested like two of each material that they had available. So this is what they had at the time. They could get some more uh, available, but this is what they had. So that's what I have. There are 10 bucks and this time you get a chain instead of just a pendant. Can I get any of those for anybody? Ooh. And then, I mean, I can go over my hard goods that I had one more time tonight if you want me to. Otherwise, you know, it would be all right. I have like a weird smorgasbord of things. <laughs> but it's good to have like a variety. All right, I think we're passing on the horsies. I don't know how bad our lag is. I don't want to, like, like, put them away and then someone be like, I want number blonde. I didn't even show the cats, but you guys didn't seem like you wanted to see the cats tonight. All right, I think that's it for me. If you want anything that I've showed, you can watch the replay. Let me know in the chat. Whatever. And uh, since nobody wanted this rose quartz horse with like the, the he's got like a white muzzle, he's my no. <laughs> Yay! Here, Patty, I just wanted to show you the same price lapidolite up against the garnet, so you can see like the color difference. And just let me know. Gina, look how cute he is! Look. I already have one of those in Tiger's Eye. That's why I haven't gotten any. Oh, no, you're fine. No, I just, he's just so cute. I'm glad I get to keep him. Mm -hmm. I love Lepidolite so much. I know it's hard to see these Lepidolite spheres because it's seemingly dark, but they do look great in the light. This is one of the lighter ones. <clears throat> um, the darkest one is 26. I don't know if that shows it off any better. Mind the glare. The glare. Glare. Here's a third one. This one has a lot of sparkle in it. Ow, I stabbed my finger! Huh. I might be bleeding. Wow, this is a very short chain. <laughs> I got a Gina. I got a choker. Oh. <laughs> oh that is yeah. 
It's all right. It can be closer to my uh, on my my throat. Jesus, I got a thick boy neck. Do I have a long chain over here? Oh, I've got this, but it's gold tone. Can I fit this over my head? Yeah, we're gonna switch to this one. So those are the little pale light spheres, and. <laughs> quartz. Green quartz are gorgeous in the light too. It's sparkly. Green strawberry quartz. I don't know why they call it green strawberry quartz. Like, why don't you just call it green quartz? <laughs> I know, right? Because strawberry makes you think, oh, there's probably some red or pink ones. Cat, the one that has the most sparkle. Okay, well. This is the one that I just said had a lot of sparkle in it. This one is 32. This one like totally catches my eye out of all four of them that are sitting here as having like the most sparkle. That guy right there, he's 32. There. That's much better. You want that one? Thank you, Kat. Oh, it's a park lane pendant. Okay. Did you say that one was 32? Yep, that one was 32. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. That one's really pretty. Lots of sparkle. And then the small one has probably like the next amount of sparkle, which is the darkest one also. It's the darkest, the smallest, and the next sparkly. Oh gosh, that one's like totally dark into the galaxy. Yeah, it's right really dark. Which actually usually indicates it's of a higher quality. Yeah, these were like really nice quality little pair of light spheres. Got quartz in there. That's the $26 one. Yep. Um, so yeah. That's what I have for tonight. If anyone has a special request to see something last minute, Karen, you got the $26 one. Thank you. Looks like you fixed it. What? She's got another chain now. We're in <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Maddie wants to see the 32 one? Yes, yeah. Karen. Oh, yeah. I can ship a lot. Like, I can ship up to 20 pounds for about nine, ten dollars You still have, you still have room. Yep, totally. Thank you. The other $32 one is right here. This guy's a little lighter. And it has like some light port spots in it. Oh my goodness, this whole lighting situation. <laughs> Thank you. Patty Paws. Oh, where'd she go? <laughs> Miranda? What? Patty would like the larva kite horse. Oh, for sure. Thank you. What do you have that fits the cat's uh, horse? There we go. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than you think. <laughs> okay. 
So that's the other $32 one. It does have a lot of um, like gray as you're seeing on camera and a lot of quartz in it too with it. Thanks, Kat. So that's that guy. So best I guess I can show him. See the sparkle there. Lots of quartz there. Eddie, I do. Yep. They were like uh, two for a dollar, I believe. I got a few left in the other room. All right, Patty. Thank you. And um, what spirit will fit the cat to your holder? What? Uh, Carolyn was asking about the cat holder for spirits. What do you have that would fit it? Oh, you know the cat holder. What do you have that fits that? Okay, Carolyn. Um, let me let me take a look. It can fit most. It can even fit bigger ones. Thank you, Patty. And Eddie, you want four of those little mini globes? You got it. Thank you. Four mini spheres. I forgot to show something. It was hidden. <laughs> this is a, okay, this is a little it. mouse with a cute like little blanket. And this guy is five bucks. It's a cute little mouse. <laughs> I totally, I totally spaced. It's just a cute little mouse. <laughs> um, and it's from, it's made out of clay, and it's from 1992, and it says Sue's. I believe someone made that out of clay. That's crazy. So I got this little mouse if anybody wants them. Okay, that's that's really it. I was just looking while you were doing that. <laughs> Carolyn, yeah, the biggest sphere that I have right now, I think might be this right in front of me. That's the strawberry quartz. This is the smaller one. This is a Shungite sphere. This is the Septarian. This is a $25 Amazonite. This is the $24 Rose Quartz. This is the $22 Clear Quartz. It's pretty small for that. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Here's a tiny little sphere, a $12 one. Yeah. Oh, cute. I mean, it'll fit them. <laughs> Here's a terahertz. Oh, that one looks like it, it, it can hold a bigger one. <laughs> Here's the lapidolite. Oh, that's my favorite. Dang, <laughs> I, like that. I think that size looked better than the green. Which one? I showed the green first. Oh, you think, oh, really? Like, like even rose quartz? Yellow one? The quartz uh, one. Septarian? No. Oh, the clear quartz? Yeah. It had a yellow glow to it. It looked really cool. Oh, there. it's from my curtain. <laughs> That's the $22 clear quartz. 
also the gold in the uh, cheer stand itself. Hi, Sandra. Um, the cat spear stands are already called for. Um, I can order more, though. If you're interested, I can order more. Yeah, that guy's 22. Clear court, clear court spheres aren't cheap to get. Like, here's a $30 one. That one's got a lot going on inside, too. This one's pretty clear. $28 one. Clear, but like lots of like little, um, like little, I don't even know what they are. You hear the noise it's making? Sorry. <laughs> Carolyn, are you sure? <laughs> I might have had one extra. Okay, Carolyn. <laughs> okay, Sandra, yes, this is available and it's $12. Carolyn will give you hers. <laughs> Carolyn, I gotta take it off your invoice then, I think, right? Okay. I made myself a note. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sandra, would you like this for 12? Just let me know. It got freed up. That's the last Lepidolite Sphere that I have now. It's the $28 one. I will, Carolyn. Thank you. Okay, Sandra, uh, can you just confirm? Yes, the holder, you got it. Thank you. We have your info, right, Sandra Miranda? Yeah, I've got her. Okay, thank you. I'm outside in the darkness with my dog. So I don't have to just... Okay, Carolyn, <laughs> just let me know. And this isn't yellow, this is actually clear. It's just, it's picking up the colors from my room. I have yellow curtains hanging right here, but it's clear. It's totally clear quartz. I have three clear quartz spheres um, available. They're clear, they're not yellow. Whatever color you're seeing them pick up is from my room. They're all clear. They're 22, 28, and 30. 30 is the cloudiest. Let me tell you your future. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, they're clear, yep. <laughs> Miranda, I think, has some golden healer, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no? No, I've been out for a while, and I haven't gotten any more. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the, yeah, it's picking up colors. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Sandra. I have you down for the cat stands. I will get more, Carolyn. Thank you. Yep, yeah, Sandra, if you missed most of the show, you can always watch the replay. And if you see anything that didn't sold, you can um, just uh, email me and or Miranda, obviously, and let, let us know. Cool, Virginia. You're going to have a cute little collection. Aw. <laughs> 
the other ones. I, I showed uh, a lot of spheres. I got terahertz for 22 and 24. I got two small blue calcites for 12. I got green strawberry quartz, 28 and 38. Uh, Shungite, 28, 40 for the big one. Shungite. I got a rose quartz for 24. Uh, last lapidolite is 28. Two Amazonites for 25. Already showed the clear quartz. Um, Good size septarian for 25. <laughs> Sorry, Patty. <laughs> and that is what I have left for spheres. And the three clear quartz. Good night, sugar plum. Good night, fairy. Love you. Yeah, the septarian looks cool. The septarian is 25. Shungite, 28. Nice size on it. A little pit of light for 28. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Rose Quartz, 24. Hi, Pat. Smaller Strawberry Green Quartz, 28. Anybody ready for the next installment of Cooking with Miranda? <laughs> you want to know what we're making today? We are making... I got to go to the rescue here. I'm not there yet. My dog's drinking very loudly. Here they are. Savory zucchini sticks. <laughs> So just let me know, Sandra, if you saw anything. Oh, I need an egg one? No, okay. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Nice. Rose quartz? You got it. Those look pretty. All right, thank you, Sandra. Kitty, come on, I'm trying to cook. Get off the counter. Sandra, appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Good choice.
Carmen? Any tablespoons? Where's the small kind of blackberry shiny? <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> Don't lick my zucchinis. What a weird cat. What's wrong with you? My cat just licked my zucchinis. Carmen, did you mean the terahertz? It's like a um it's like the color of hematite. It's like a silvery color, gunmetal color. These vibrate um, at a really high frequency. They're really healing and protective. These are terahertz. Is that what you meant? They're really reflective. They basically have, they're all mirrored. <laughs> oh, Virginia, all that noise is probably me. I'm it's Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of Parmesan cheese. That makes me so sad. You're out of what? Parmesan cheese. Here, I'm going to try to show you what they look like in person. They look like gunmetal colored. They're, they're not gold. They're just a solid gunmetal color. And they're... They're very reflective. That's why they're just picking up everything around me. It's hard to see them on camera. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Which one would you like, the 22 or the 24? 24 is just slightly bigger. <laughs> There's no yellow in them. Everything is probably showing yellow in it because of my curtain. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. I need something to put there. You got it. Thank you. My floor is really squeaky. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Thank you, Carmen. Great choice. Love terahertz. Thank you, guys. Woo. That could have been bad. I almost messed up the whole recipe. Although I'm pretty sure it'd be fine if there was no egg whites. <laughs> My phone looks yellow. Everything looks yellow. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I'm all done. Thank you, everybody. You're all done? Well, yeah. It's almost 11. Just about 11. Oh, no, I'm at 11 my time, not 11 your time. Oh. Weirdo. Well, I mean, I'll show more if anyone has any uh, requests. Or otherwise, we can just watch Miranda cook. <laughs> That's weird that I'm putting milk in this, but whatever. It's what it asks for. Good night, Carolyn. <laughs> I need a knife. Mini gloves. Oh, I'll be right back and I'll grab them. Yeah, I've never milked make milk with egg whites before. It looks weird. Last time we made what did we make? I made waffles last time. Hey, Andy. Well, Eddie. Grab I need pasta. Oh, pasta sauce. Hi, honey. 
The egg white, the milk, and the zucchini. Yeah. And then I dip it. What? Dip each zucchini stick into the crumb mixture, then onto the eggs. And then roll it into the crumbs again? <laughs> what? That's weird. I never heard of that. This is bonkers. How long do they cook for? 15 minutes? What? I'm impatient. That's a long time. What the hell? That's a super dollar. They're really, they're really tiny, but they're really cute. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I have to pee. This will be fine. Watch the. Yeah, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. And I got eight left. All right, Patty will take four. <laughs> They're not yellow. All right, I'll put them up between you two. I got eight left. Thank you, ladies. Dante. Dante, come here. All right, thank you. They're just cute. <laughs> you guys want any peens? We got peens left. It's funny, Eddie. You're funny. <laughs> okay. The okay. Part parts, they're not as yellow in person. They're more pink. <laughs> uh, smaller one's four bucks, and the bigger one is five. Four or five. Aw, Christy. <laughs> but I still have some. All right. Four dollars, five dollars. I'm back. Okay. What are those? Just rose quartz hearts. Oh, those are cute. My yellow room makes them not look pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, look, they look like selenite or like a like they have like a cool opalescence on it or something. <laughs> I was like, all right, you bet. <laughs> all right, I see Sandra came in first for the $4 one. Thank you, Sandra. Cat, would you? Yep, Cat will take the $5 one. Thank you. I feel like these are pretty big. Thank you, ladies. I'm making the executive decision to cut them smaller. <laughs> that looks much better. I love how we say thank you, ladies, because there's not very many guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pat, you came in just behind. This smoky quartz palm stone, um, I can do for six. Smoky quartz for six, buy it now. It's not citrine. <laughs> it's smoky quartz. Oh, man. Should I plug in my box light? Get rid of this yellow. 
Thank you, Kat. <laughs> These are so weird looking. This is fun. I like this. Everything is looking yellow. Yes, I apologize. Oh. I'll let it drip. That's my that's my oven. Don't freak out. I got this lab heart that I can start at an eight. Uh, I'll start it at six dollars. Six dollars starting bid. And it does have flash. I'm just trying to get it to flash. There we go. Drip the egg off. Drip, drip, drip. It's like an egg drip. We'll just put that egg drip on top of the zucchini. It's fine. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. <laughs> What a weird food item. Why am I so excited for it? Well, thank you, ladies. Cat D, hi, bit of 12. Caddy's out. Have you guys watched the show where, like, Selena Gomez is, like, cooking and she's, like, never cooked before? No, nope, never heard of it. I've never watched it, but I want to. I've seen, like, little snippets on, like, TikTok and stuff. Do either of you watch Drunk Cooking? Yeah, I've, I've heard of it. I've watched it in the past. That was funny. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. I don't watch very much. <laughs> so. Thanks, for bids. Thanks for your bids, ladies. Unless it's on YouTube. <laughs> well, it's on YouTube, the one I'm talking about. It's job cooking with, um, what was her name? I can't remember her name. So, these are rose quartz. They're, they're pink in real life. <laughs> this one's $4, buy it now. Small one. This one's $5. Four and five. <laughs> Why does food always look better in the pictures? Presentation. <laughs> my my <laughs> sticks don't look like their sticks. Their sticks are all like nice and evenly coated and they look all good. Mine are like goopy, missing some spots. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Got you both down. Thank you. These are my last two palm stones. They're bigger. Rose quartz. They're pink in real life. This one has a are rainbow. You sure? Are you sure they're pink? They are. <laughs> That one has a beautiful rainbow in it. It's gorgeous. Oh, you love rainbows. That one has a little bit, it's a tiny bit, but this one has a gorgeous rainbow. Where'd it go? There it is. Um, this one I can do for. Ten. 
10, that's the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. 10 by it now. Did you know Skittles loses its rainbow packaging for Pride Month? No, I didn't. Because the only rainbow that matters is the Pride flag. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kat, I was going to do them one at a time. <laughs> this one's I don't know that either. Andy told me about it. And, well... They're about the same size. They're just different shapes. Yeah. This one's 10 also. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Wow, these are getting really ugly as we go on. This one, right, Kat? I think that's the one you want it. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I'll, I'll do him for nine. He does like a pinch smaller. Nine dollars. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Yep, that one's yours. Thank you. Okay. Gray is bigger, though. This guy's 10 if anyone wants him. He's got a gorgeous rainbow. And that's my last rose quartz palm stone. Okay, that's right. Uh, these oh, eggs are 12. One looks like, all right, they both have some flash in them. It's really strange. Like they're not, they're not Moonstone. They have too much flash to be considered an adventurine. So they're like, they might feel like a peachy quartz material. I'm not sure exactly, but they're 12. Patty, you want the other one? Thank you. This mess. Thank you, Patty. Okay. Oh, those are so ugly. I'm holding this one on my left hand. This one, right? This one, right, Kat? Okay, I'll just all of them. Yep, it's a lighter one. Yep, this one right here. Thank you, Kat. Got this one, this one's still available, the darker one. Um, I still have fossilized starfish left. These guys are ten dollars. Gina, you can end whenever you want, darling. Okay. Thank you. Those guys are 10. I do have two more eggs. I do have peach moonstone. One is a lot smaller, one's a bit smaller. All right, I got peach moonstone eggs. And you can do one for five and one for seven. Smaller one is five, and the bigger one is seven. So just put five or seven if you're interested. Five dollar one, seven dollar one, seven dollar one. I know the slash on it right away. Where'd it go? Right there. Peach moonstone. Peach moonstone with flash, and then there's a smaller one with flash. A little bit, yep. Ooh. Let me 
<laughs> that one was funny. I'm sorry. That one has slash too. Okay, Kat, do you want some bigger one? Ooh. Sorry, I dropped the salsa. Drop this also, puppy. Oh. Okay. Well, that has a like, little flashy circle right there, too. Thank you, Kat. All right. Kat, you want the $5 one? You got it. Thank you. Why did I put my wedding ring on the crumbs? Am I just stupid? It's on the crumbs? Yeah. Like on the crumb container? I didn't think I needed any more crumbs, but... There is need... some crumbs! <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Get your ladies down for those. Thank you. Oh, nice fresh crumbs. Michelle, I can double check. I think you are because the glass stand was kind of heavy. I'm afraid you might have might have exceeded two pounds, but I can double check. I can double check tomorrow for you. Thank you. Let's see. I really want to fit as many on here as I can. I have it Tianhe, which is sometimes confused with Amazonite, but it's actually a deeper green color. Tianhe. This palm is $5. It's my last one. I haven't showed that one in a long time. Last one is Tianhe. Spelled like that. You know what it sounds like you said? What? Chianti. Chianti? <laughs> I thought it sounded like Beyonce. <laughs> oh. All the same glaze. Really pretty, uh, very green teal color. Beautiful. It's a small palm. I went straight Hannibal, you know, with the whole Chianti thing. <laughs> Okay, Michelle, no problem. All right, I'm putting the OJs away that didn't sell earlier. But I know you ladies were here when I showed them. I think I can do two. You should miss them. That one's 10. Okay, no problem, Pat. We'll do. That one's 12. It's supposed to be OJ, but it kind of looks like Picture Jasper a little bit. Oh, Kat will take the Tianhe. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Kat. Got you down for that. And these ones were $6. Oh, no, this one was five, and then these two are six. If anyone is into the body, I do have more in the other room. But, uh, depends what you're looking for. Okay. Okay. I still got one selenite moon bowl left. This guy's 12. Last one I have. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you got a good deal on the selenite moon bowls. Or on the selenite bowls in general. Yeah, I showed you too. <laughs> yep. 
I got a shitty deal. I didn't get a deal. I got shitted on. I'm there sorry. Was. I know sometimes these really yeah. are expensive. Uh, I'm just always in works. the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> All right, they're going in the stove. <laughs> Sorry, everything in my house is squeaky. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll <laughs> take a step. <laughs> I open my oven door. <laughs> you should have put the boys in the veranda. Oh, man. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, wait. So soothing, Miranda. <laughs> I am the police. I'm just, I'm just a very loud individual, apparently. I just can't help it. So I got this teapot for $3 if anyone wants a teapot. Wow. I'm gonna put shredded cheese in with this one because I'm a daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a feeling I'm gonna need another egg. Andy, if you're still watching, honey, we're out of eggs. We got cottage cheese. Wants a bowl for a dollar. We got your choice, a dollar, a pottery bowl that someone made. Good job. Or I'm, I'm opening plastic. Just <laughs> <laughs> shout over me. It's okay. I figured I'll just show some things while I clean it up and I pack stuff away. <laughs> Well, I just, my hands are covered in food and stuff, so like, you know. Just, let me figure out how to zip close this, uh, this cheese real quick. <laughs> cheese. Uh, $5 for the set. All right. $5 for this thing here. For, for the... They're trying to catch a baby that's up in the air. It's vintage. Time to catch a baby. <laughs> Who the hell is throwing a baby up in the air trying to catch psychopaths? If you want these free in your package that you've already purchased, just put plate and I'll give it to you for free. Both of them. The little miniature plates. They kind of look like Wedgwood. She does have a Mary Kay thing. It it says Mary Kay Creations, but it's 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 not the makeup company. I could be. I highly doubt it. It's like a 3D scene going on inside of there. I'm not sure. It's it's cute. Oh, Cat D came in first with plate. Those little plates are yours. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cat. Little plates are so cute. Little plates. If someone wants this little candle holder in their package for free, put candle. Now Dina's just giving shit away. She's like, I don't fucking want it. You didn't want it for a dollar. Take it. Take it. Are you sure, Gina? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Candle. Oh, Denise, thank you for taking it off my hands. When I eat cottage cheese out of a container, it makes Andy angry. Why? But I'm like, bro, when I eat cottage cheese out of the container, like with a spoon, 
You get angry? Andy gets mad. Oh. <laughs> you want this bowl for free in your package? Put bowl. I'm just like, I don't understand why he gets so upset, though. <laughs> like, it's our cottage cheese. Nobody else is going to eat it. I love cottage cheese. Same. Do you add pepper to yours? Yeah, I like anything not sweet, like onions or chives, but not like sweet things. That's gross to me. <laughs> well, that's like sweet milk. Well, no, creamers like sweet milk. I like me some creamers, but I wouldn't put creamer like in my cottage cheese. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Oh, the shores. Yay, awesome, Michelle. Michelle made it safe to her, her folks house. Sweet. Did your kid drive the whole way there? Ooh, this with cheese is gonna be so good. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna have some more for tomorrow too. I still have these for five dollars. Mukai and You really gotta let it drip for a while though. That's kind of annoying. That loopy off you. Oh. Really, Karen? What happened to Karen? I can't read the chat. What happened? What's happening? Nah, it's, it's too bumpy. She thought maybe the hot plate went with this, but it's too bumpy. <clears throat> I got it, like a spoonful of pepper when I ate. My cottage cheese and now my throat hurts. We're already separated. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Gotta keep them separated. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you want both of these pendants? <laughs> Do I smell it? <laughs> My cat is so cute. He's just sitting here watching me make these. He's just sitting there staring at me. I'm waiting for him to start pawing it. Because he stares and then he starts trying to grab it with his paw. That's the part we can't have. Because then there's cat hair and everything. Thank you, cat. Thank you. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a little dino here for 28. Very cute. Little dino. I got this new uh, smoky citrine tower here. You sound so tired. Do you want me to end it? Yeah, we can go whenever. <laughs> All right, this will be my last thing I'm showing. <laughs> smoky citrine tower. 18. Buy it now if anyone's interested. 18. Well, you just sound tired, and I know you got to clean everything up before you can go to bed. I do have to clean everything up. Can you see how funny that makes my eyes look? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You want the citrine tower? <laughs> so 18. It <laughs> reminds me of a Snapchat filter. <laughs> okay, that was my last item of the night. <laughs> All right, well, my hands are covered in egg and breadcrumbs, so. Of course. 
Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> and if you want any more of the stuff I show, just go back and watch it and then tell me what happened to Christy. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> she said she'd be right back and then she never came back. Or maybe she isn't back. I don't know. Well, I don't see her in the back. Well, no. y'all should have told me she was she left and was waiting for on me in the back. Oh. Bad friend. <laughs> well, she didn't chat anywhere that she's back. Dang it. I wonder if my phone's getting ready to die. It's gonna be a minute before I can like clean my hands. Okay. But you can you can turn your camera off and start cleaning up if you want and I can talk to everybody. You don't have to entertain. Alrighty. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> I'm making zucchini that's got breadcrumbs and cheese over it. I didn't know when you bread things that you're supposed to put the, the breadcrumbs on it and then dip it in egg and then breadcrumb it again. That doesn't make any sense to me still. But I'm doing it. Oh, those breadcrumbs fell right off. Oh, this is a big one. The big one. So yeah, I'm almost done though. I think I have like a handful of, of stickies here to do. I've ended up I ended up doing twice as many as I was supposed to. But that's okay, because like I can keep them for, you know, I can eat them tonight and tomorrow, right? So yeah. <clears throat> the auction portion of today is over. And I'll be with you guys until I'm done cooking here. Well, until I get the, this, you know, I'm done, like, wash my hands. Then I'll end the live. How many minutes I got? I got three minutes. Okay. I got three minutes. How would you like me to entertain you? I can sing you a song. I cannot dance because I hurt my ankle. Uh, would you like to know my new auction schedule? I can share that with you. Well, from what I can remember. Um, to the, the time that we went on tonight, that is my new time for auctioning. I'm going to go on at 7 Central or 8 Eastern most nights of the week. My two days off are going to be Monday. That way Lucid and Teresa don't have to, you know, we don't have to overlap each other or anything like that. And then um, keeping Saturdays off. Now that could change. Maybe I want to do a pop-up on Monday. Maybe I want to do a pop-up on Saturday. But my normal schedule is going to be Every night except for, okay, let me just start. Monday's off, Tuesday, 7 p.m., Wednesday, 7 p.m., Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 p.m. So Friday is like the late night since it's like the weekends. So Friday night I'll be on late, get that late night bus, bus in and stuff. And then uh, Saturday off, and then Sunday. 7 p.m. And then I will be doing the List It lives where you guys can ask me questions about being a reseller or list with me or whatever. Um, those will be on Monday at 11 a.m. And Thursday? No. Monday. I think Monday and Wednesday. And then Tuesday and Thursday at well, that one's really should be covered. And then Tuesday and Thursday, um, I'll do uh, 2 p.m. auctions. Tuesday will be stones. And Thursday will be close. And then Saturday, uh, I'm technically off, but I will be uploading every Saturday a like thrift with me video. So you get to come out to the stores with me and see what I see and what I pick up and what I don't pick up and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to keep, like, prices in, but I'll show you items and stuff. Ooh. So those are new things that are going to be coming. And Tuesday is only stones if I get stones in. That day could change because who knows what day the post office decides to give my stones. You know? <laughs> So that one really depends. I'm like out of egg. I think I'm out.
I'm out. There's no way I can add any more. Just add some extra breadcrumbs. So yeah, that's <clears throat> totally, I made a mess. <laughs> okay. So let's put all of these extra breadcrumbs. What can I do with the extra breadcrumbs? Can you just cook breadcrumbs? Can I add the breadcrumbs to something? It's got like cheese and egg in it though. Some cheesy eggs. Oh, I can just mix the rest of the eggs with the breadcrumbs. What does that make? Because I've got egg yolks. I can mix egg yolks with it. Three minutes is up. Oh my gosh. It's atrocious. Oh, I forgot I had that. Okay, well, I won't just throw this away in case I can MacGyver or something. Hang on, I gotta go away. wipe my hands off. central time so i'll be on at 11 a.m to do like a list to hang out uh like chat kind of work thing that'll be the best place for you to ask me questions especially about like reselling and things like that um monday at 11 a.m will be one of those shows tuesday at 2 p.m i will have a stone sale if i got stones in and then Tuesday night at 7 p.m. I'll have an auction. Wednesday. I'm trying to remember what I wrote down. So Wednesday, I think, is another 11 a.m. show and then a 7 p.m. auction. Thursday is a 2 p.m. clothing auction and then a 7 p.m. regular auction. Friday is a 9 p.m. auction because that'll be like the late night um, auction where, you know, something like that. <laughs> and then Saturday will be an uploaded video of me like out thrifting and stuff. Um, maybe one Saturday I'll just go live and take you guys with me. And then Sunday is a 7 p.m. auction. Okay. <laughs> The first layer is to absorb the excess water from the zucchini as it cooks because zucchini has a high water content and allows the next layer of breadcrumbs to rise. Oh! And hello, Joanne! You missed everything. Hey, Nino! Hi! If you're still here. Oh, Nino, I got your stuff boxed up so that I can um, invoice you, and your shipping's like 15 something, so it's not too bad. Okay. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. And that schedule starts hopefully next week. It'll just depend. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's depending. But it's either gonna it's gonna start in the next couple weeks. Like I'm gonna it's gonna start next week, but some of the stuff might be absent. Like my new auction time is correct, and then that way you'll know like where to find me and stuff. And I'll put my my auction will be in my Facebook group and on my Facebook page. Uh, my Facebook page is literally the Rehomer, or it's the Rehomer Miranda. And then um, 
all of that is like literally linked down below. So all the Facebook groups and my Facebook page and stuff like that is linked down below. It's either automatically linked or it's linked in my link tree, um, which I think that link is down there as well. So if you're not a part of those Facebook groups, make sure to be because that's where uh, I'm going to be more active on there. Okay, I got to cook the rest of these. That was a lot. Remember, I need to I'm out of breath. Does look good, it look really good. Yeah, I've never done it before. <laughs> uh, this was a lot messier up here, but I cleaned it up a little bit and then I it, got my. Uh, it my looks delicious. like fluffier potato wedges. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. I'm proud of myself. All right, I'm proud. High five to me. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all these egg yolks because I'm not a waster. And this is like five egg yolks. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with all these egg yolks? Bake a cake? A yellow cake? Make an omelet. 
With just egg yolks? Disgusting. Oh no, I am I could. If you got a slice of cheese, add cheese, a little bit of milk, just put that in a pan and there you go. It's not bad, but I see why you're supposed to dip it in like a sauce. I need a sauce. I don't know if I have any sauce. I added sauce yesterday, but I'm supposed to be the extra. Like, oh, no, we didn't. Yes! Sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never had okra. Mm. 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 Delicious. All right, so Andy's in charge of cleaning because I cook, right? That's how that works. <laughs> he gave me like, excuse me. I just worked. I need a mess. I didn't mean to. Oh my God. What a mess. Oh, I just ate cheese covered in egg. That was not great. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to why I stick in my mouth. Oh, God. All right, now I need some pasta sauce in a bowl, and you're supposed to heat it. Quiche? I don't know how to make a quiche. And then, so it's in the mouth. All right, we'll try it cold first. Mm. Okay. This isn't bad, but it's really weird. I don't understand why it is so many freaking calories. Maybe it's the breadcrumbs. I don't have any spinach. I wanted to get some, but I didn't. All right. So, I just itched my stomach, by the way. Nothing gross. Got my coffee still. I got leftover crumbs for another day. How do you make a quiche? <laughs> Teach me the ways of the quiche. Ooh. Now that is some spicy tomatoes. Alright. Mm. So this is my dinner. Is this a weird dinner? Oh, get out of the egg yolk. What's wrong with you? Yeah, quiche is a good way to eat your spinach. I love spinach, yeah. What a weird food. What else can I give it, Eddie? <laughs> I don't think I'm sold on the pasta sauce. Here. You think maybe it needs like some mustard? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dump out a little bit of mustard. I feel like I'm eating fries, but they're like they taste like vegetables. So I'm gonna get like, a little bit of mustard and ketchup going on. Not like with the pasta sauce because it's disgusting. Because maybe this will be better. Well, I got some ranch. Or is that blue cheese? Is that ranch? I got some soy sauce. I've got like barely any ranch left. Oh, Teresa, you want to see what I made? 
I made zucchini sticks. And I'm trying out different condiments with it. Man, this ranch has really tested my life skills. <laughs> did we lose Gina? Oh, did we lose Christy? What happened? What did we lose? We lost Christy. Damn it, she was talking to me. <laughs> All right, so here they are. I ate the best looking one of you. I made breaded zucchini sticks. I mean, some of them came out better than others, but that brown's pretty good, you know. And I got marinara sauce, and then I got ranch ketchup and mustard. I'm sorry if it bothers you that my condiments like. There's Christy. Okay, I'm sorry if it bothers you that my condiments touch. Okay. Christy's muted. She'll talk to us in a second. All right. We're going to do... Huh? Get down. Get down. I said I'm always muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, we're trying with ranch. Oh, that's got to be the bomb. That one's better. Better than marinara sauce. Okay. Now we're going to try mustard. <laughs> I've never had mustard and zucchini before. It's pretty good. The zucchini and the mustard actually balance pretty well. It's not like... Fantastic, but it doesn't taste like disgusting. All right, now we got the ketchup. You're making me hungry, man. Ketchup is pretty good with it too because of the breadcrumbs. It doesn't feel weird having it with zucchini. Yeah. Plus, ketchup's a vegetable or whatever. It goes with zucchini. Got a lot of sugar in it, though. Well, so does ranch. <laughs> <laughs> ranch is just fat, but it's so good. Oh, God. <laughs> sorry, puppy. And sorry to your uh, ears. All right, that's it. I made food. I'm going to eat my food now. I'm going to converse with the Gina. And then she's got to go to bed, and I got to do some work. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.